Yeah, hello, uh, I'm Andrew Jones, I'm a rehabilitation worker and I work with visually impaired and deafblind persons throughout Denbyshire. My current office base is in, in the Brighton Road and Rail, where I also work at least a day a week in the county offices in Rithin. And I was invited to start the Get Involved with a Mobile Working Project about 12 months ago. And I, initially it was just to measure the strength of the strength of the 3G signal throughout the county and we had a little device where I go into a client's home, we press a little button and then it gives us a recording of the quality and the strength of the 3G signal in, in the property. From there that developed and then we were given a laptop with a, with a mobile internet access on a dongle and then with that we were able to access, uh, access Paris, Lotus Notes and any other programmes that we require for our job out and about wherever there was a 3G signal present. What, the, what I can say is when there's a 3G signal present it works perfectly. The speed and the, and the, and the actual connection is excellent. Obviously when there isn't a 3G signal that then you, can, you then can't use it. But like I said it works perfectly when, when, you're in, when you do get a 3G signal. Another thing I'd like to say is one of the concerns we maybe had was how service users would react to having a laptop with you or a device with you while you're speaking to them and while you're working with them. What I can say is within my client base, nobody cared. They didn't essentially didn't give two hoots. They just they just stuck and when I actually asked people what they thought of it, they just thought it was part of you know, part of the modern world really. This is what this is almost what they expect really now. So in terms of in terms of what are the challenges, I suppose one of the challenges is what, how we would use the device when you don't get a 3G signal, what is the best process for that? Because then we're talking about potentially do I need to take notes with me or do I need to just take the, the, the device with me and what do we do in that scenario? But I know IT have been thinking about that. The, another, pra uh, another difficulty is, is, like we said, is how you, how you use it where, pe where communication is an issue with a person. And, and, and kind of the security of using the device as well while, whilst you're out and about and how we would use it then because because sometimes you might not want to use the device in front of a say you know a, say there's a, a suspicious person present or you know or whatnot how you would use it then or like I said if there's a communication issue and then the device can become a barrier so so maybe then it wouldn't be appropriate to use but I think that's just coming down to the skill of the practitioner and how they would actually use it and you know and frankly, you've always got a pen and paper with you anyway, and you can just record it at another time. The, what the benefits for me, really, has been the ability to work, work in a more, more mobile manner, really. I, I live in Wrexham, frankly, so there's lots of times where I'm going to an appointment, particularly in the south of the county, where it's quicker for me to get home than it is to come back to the office. And obviously for... for the social services here in the county, it's cheaper for, for them because they don't have to pay me mileage to come back to the office. So I can now just either record my information, maybe if it's a little bit of information in the client's home, if it's a bit more substantial information, it might be that I can do it when I get home, or again, it might just be that I can just do it when I've got five minutes, say, in the library, a local library or whatnot. But it just saves me the hassle of then having to drive all the way back to the office to record something and then go home after that. So it saves me time, frankly, and saves hopefully the county a little bit of money as well. And and really, and it's and it's the and it's the fact that you the fact that I, I can access information quickly and efficiently. I also think I work in a slightly more timely manner as well. Because sometimes like I say if you have an appointment at the end of the day, or say have a couple of appointments at the end of the day, you might not have time to record your information, then you're busy the next day and whatnot. We're actually now finding I can when I'm using the device I can record information straight away so it's up there in a timely timely manner and when I'm in the client's home and they're asking me for information I might not know off the top of my head but I can easily access it either if it's the information from Paris who's working with them who's due to see them but also if it's just they're interested in a piece of equipment I can fa I can look it up on the internet and then I can be able to show them and you know and it works. Like I said, essentially for me, it just works really well because it does work. You know, it could because it's because you're able to access everything that you access on your PC in the office on a mobile device.